there I am still. What am I going to do now? I'm addicted to these foods. I'm buckled over. I can't keep living this way. What am I going to do? What I did do is I turned to my beautiful wife, Julie. Say hi. She did the meditation earlier today. Um, Julie, as you might imagine, has always the, been the healthier one in our relationship equation. Uh, in fact, at this time, if you were to open up our refrigerator, there was a pretty clear demarcation line down the middle between the foods that Julie was eating, like, you know, kombucha and like kale and crazy stuff, cauliflower, and the foods that I was eating, like Oreos and hot dogs and like all the super yummy stuff, right? I decided to reach out to Julie for help. Please help me. What do I do next? And we hatched a plan. The first thing that we did was she put me on a seven-day vegetable juice cleanse. That was horrible. <laughs> a couple days of lying on the couch, sweating profusely, starving, like ready to chew my arm off. Like I'd never gone a full day of my entire life without eating solid food, so this is like crazy town for me. I was daydreaming of cheeseburgers. It was really like detox for food. You know, I felt like I was detoxing off heroin, but if there's one thing I know how to do, it's how to weather a detox. And I know that if you stay in it, it changes. It eventually gets better. And sure enough, it did. By the third and the fourth day, the fog started to clear. By the sixth and seventh day, it was like I was having a religious experience. I could not believe how much better I felt. My energy levels skyrocketed. My mental acuity was dialed in. My sleep was better. My skin was clearing up. There was everything about me and my experience had shifted as a result of this one-week experiment. It was really profound for me. And I thought, that's it. I'm just going to drink juice forever. There's no food ever again. Like a good alcoholic, right? The alcoholic mind. So I thought, all right, enough with the games. What if I got rid of all the processed junk that I'm diluting myself is actually not that bad for me? And what if I got rid of all the animal products on my plate? There's an idea. That's something I haven't tried yet. And I wish I could tell you that I went into that experiment hoping and thinking that it would work. But the truth is, I was kind of hoping it wouldn't work because it sounds terrible. Like, what's left to eat, right? You're going to crawl around on, like, your front yard and, like, chew grass. It just sounds absolutely not what I was interested in doing. Um, but because a joyless life is better than being dead, I decided that I would try this experiment anyway. <laughs> and little did I know that this, this decision, this little decision that I made would not only have this tremendously profound impact on the trajectory of my life, but that it would also create this sort of butterfly effect, sending out positive ripples across the globe. 